I just remember looking back and I'm like, oh my gosh, like this is not actually real, like this is a dream. It was July 27th when 19-year-old Peyton Olson's life changed. Her legs were thrown under a ride on lawnmower. She was all alone and her rural address made it challenging to relay her whereabouts to 911. I finally just got frustrated and I hung up on them. <laughs> like I'm like, I can't handle this at all. It took nearly 45 minutes before 911 pinned Olson's location down and came to her rescue. Okay, I gotta keep it together. I just gotta breathe. Like, it was just so hard for me because I knew if I passed out, like, it was pretty much over for me. Olson's parents were on their way home when they got an unforgettable call from their 19 year old daughter. Hey, Dad, like, where are you? <laughs> And he's like, well, we're in High River. I'm like, well, you need to go back to Calgary. And he like laughs. He's like, we're not going back there. And I'm like, uh, yeah, I'm being airlifted. That's something that you never want to see and anyone in, let alone uh, uh, your baby sister. And you know, you wanted to be able to do something for her. I definitely thought I was coming out with no legs. Well, no feet. <laughs> But so when after the surgery was performed, like I looked down, I'm like, I still have a foot. Like it was the best thing ever to be like, they kept it. We know that miracles happen every day and just the fact that everything went so well so that she could keep a leg. There was some divine intervention here with uh, guiding the doctors and uh, to help her and also her family get through such a tough time. Olson credits her faith and the support of her religious community for what she views as miracles. Today, doctors marvel at her physical progress, noting she's months ahead of schedule. I took my first step and I'm like, oh, like this is like not too bad. And so I just kind of took another one and another one. And finally, like we made it to the end, turned around, went back. And then I had to rest for a little bit because it does hurt with my left foot that I have because there are bones in there that still aren't healed and everything. So it feels like walking on a broken foot. She's the one that's lost the limb. And through this entire process, she was the strong one supporting us, right? Letting us know it's gonna be okay. You know, it's, it's only one leg. I still got another leg. Olsen has been making the most of her time off school, building an online skincare business and considering the future. She says her interests are changing and is considering switching college majors, but her passion for soccer is steady. I'm never going to be able to play the same. I'm never going to be able to maybe like run the same or do just do the things that I did before, but I'm excited to try to do things a new way and kind of adapt and learn new things. She's accepted the cards that have been dealt to her and she's like, all right, that's what I got, let's run with it. She's an inspiration to these girls. They all uh, they all look up to her, some of the, even the new girls that don't even know her personally. When she comes, she's been to a couple of practices. She sits around, she laughs and jokes. She was on the bench for the home opener. Honestly, she knows it and I know it, that I'm playing for her this season. There's no reason to play for myself, it's just for her because I know that she would, wants to be on the field as bad as anybody else who is here, probably even more. Given her ahead of schedule recovery and her willpower, it is likely that Peyton one day will be back on this field wearing a prosthetic leg specially made for soccer. This leg in particular costs up to $19,000 and is only one of a variety of legs she'll need to switch back and forth from for different activities. These legs are said to wear out as quickly as shoes and so a GoFundMe page has been created to support her and her family in this time. For Bridge City News, I'm Josie Foster.